hello guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Seth Paulo and kindly subscribe to this channel like this video and turn on the notification bell and let's engage in the comment section guys so yesterday i posted a video about bed sitter etiquette as a guest and today i'm going to talk about the bed sitter etiquette as a host because you as a tenant as a neighbor as a friend as whoever lives in a bed sitter you have a responsibility so that you can coexist with your neighbors you cannot say because i have paid rent i will do everything as i please not minding the other people who have also paid rent like you because everyone has a right to live comfortably in the space they choose and we just have to mind just have to consider each other so that you do not have fights and everything so these are my bed sitter etiquette as a host as someone who lives who has rented a bed sitter the one is always keep your place clean and tidy guys yes i don't know if you have walked to these buildings where when you enter inside water is at the door Yani it is just so dirty that you are so embarrassed and you know what you cannot achieve cleanliness if the landlord does not care about cleaning and paying someone to clean it you as the tenant if you abandon that place you are the ones who are going to suffer it is just better for someone to take care of their space clean inside your bed sitter clean out inside and outside if there's no one to clean outside if there's someone to clean outside just don't inconvenience them clean your own space don't be one of those type of people who when a friend comes to visit you you have to let them stay at the door for 10 minutes so that you can clean up hide the utensils hide the clothes under the bed like you have to start hiding things in your house when someone comes to visit just always clean up and you will always have a nice time and a nice experience your friends will also enjoy when they come to you and you don't have to keep them at the door yes number two is be honest about food guys if you are not in a position to share food with your friend kindly tell them don't be one of those people who are um, like your friend visits you you are hungry and you do not want to share with them so you stay hungry you even hide food just because you do not want to share you know what if you don't have enough food tell them by the way this is all i have and i'm so hungry i'm sorry i cannot share with you because it is all i have just be honest don't hide and also if you're in a position to share share with those people who are worth sharing with because sharing is caring and when you share guys you don't lose you gain more you gain more in terms of satisfaction and also god when you give you will never lack food that is one thing i learned number three respect privacy guys respect your privacy and respect your neighbor's privacy so guys when you are moving into a bed sitter i think the most important thing you need to do is put a curtain and if you do not have money for a curtain there is no excuse for leaving your house open you can use a lesso you can use a blanket whatever it is just so that you can have your own privacy because sometimes when you go outside on the balcony and someone's window is just open it is just normal for people to look out and it is not nice guys just have your own privacy have your own curtains also don't be the type of the type of person who snoops on other people's houses maybe i have my curtain and my blinder but i have not drawn my curtain yet and the lights are on and then you just wake up you're trying to peep very deeply like i have ever seen someone trying to peep because i had not drawn the heavy curtain it was the other one that at night when the lights are on you can see through it is not nice just respect your privacy and other people's privacy also those people who have a tendency of getting sorry to say this but getting intimate in a bed sitter when your friends are around that is so wrong guys you should respect your own privacy if you can go ahead and do the act when your friends are there you do not respect yourself you do not respect your relationship and you can even be compromising your relationship and it is trashy it is so wrong respect your privacy yes number four it is be mindful of noise guys 
do not be the type of neighbor that plays loud music all the time every time and does not consider other people remember some people some families live in bed sitters some people have kids in bed sitters and when your music is too loud or you're playing a video game or you're watching a movie and it is too loud you inconvenience babies you inconvenience people who work from houses you like some people are even loud that you cannot even watch your own tv because they just want to think about themselves there is a level guys if you want to dance there is a level of volume that you can put you will dance your neighbors might hear it but it won't be such a bother but there is this noise that is just too loud also some people talk too loudly and you inconvenience others also apart about the privacy some people are also very loud during their intimate moments and you inconvenience other people because remember there are kids living there there are people who are waiting for marriage and you're also being a bad role model so just keep it low mind other people as you play your music as you do whatever you do just be mindful because you don't know next time you might be the one who's working from home and you need your peace and karma is a bitch number five guys is mind your wet clothes yes so i have seen this a lot where you have hanged your clothes maybe you don't even share a hanging line but you're shared you're hanging on the balcony so definitely when you hang water the other person's water like the one on top of you the water will drip down to the person below if you are hanging clothes that are shedding colors boyako in a color red or color black and you're just hanging them and you can see your neighbor has hung their bed sheets or their curtains which are white if you do not tell them to remove them you are being you are evil you are an evil person if you can if you can hang your clothes that are staining other people's clothes you are just evil you can just wait so that you can hang the next day or if you know you're going to hang such clothes just talk to the person below you so that you do not inconvenience other people because you can imagine when you say my red in my white sheets with your red or black clothes i have to sometimes the stain will not come out and even if it comes out you're wasting my time you're wasting my detergent why are you costing me that and sometimes you even have to get rid of it and buy another one so just consider people and when you have to hang your clothes always check who is hanging below you because sometimes even baby's clothes like you cannot hang your clothes when you see baby's clothes and you know babies are very sensitive so if you see baby's clothes just let them dry if the neighbor takes too long to unhang them knock on the door and ask them to kindly unhang their clothes because they've been on the hanging line for two days and you also need to do your laundry and number six is take care of your pets guys do not inconvenience others i understand some situations you cannot help like where the dog keeps barking but there are situations like i have a story one time a neighbor had a was it a dog i think it's a puppy so that puppy for some reason it would always come and poop on my shoes on my sandals the ones i used to go to the shop with and it annoyed me because it happened one time second time that time i was mad i texted in the whatsapp group for the house that whoever the cat belongs to the dog belongs to should take care of it so that it's not inconveniencing me and someone had the guts to say let the dog do its right let the dog pee and i was like what you are thinking just like <laughs> so guys don't inconvenience other people if you must have a pet take care of it don't let your dogs and your cat pee on other people like that dog it had a tendency of even pooping on the corridors and eventually actually the caretaker was like he told her to either get rid of the dog or she moves out and yes just take care of your things don't let your things inconvenience other people same as children don't leave your children to just go knocking on other people's door that is not right like i've seen kids who run knocking on doors and then they run to the next next door and keep on doing the same so don't do that take care of your pets or your whatever that can inconvenience other people number seven is mind your business yes mind your business bed sitters they are very close to each other this door is here this door is here another one is facing it opposite another one opposite 
balconies are facing each other but two some people like you will know about people's lives even if you don't want to know them but some people are too nosy they do not respect like they just want to get into other people's business like i know someone who used to know everything about even the most private person in that building so she'd be the type of person who knows who this one is dating who what this one does for a living what this one eats like what you do not have a life that you have to go and look for other people's lives to talk about you need to get a life and mind your own business i don't think i need to say much on that number eight guys as a host you should also know who is worth visiting you just don't let anyone visit you because some people don't have the best intentions about you some people will come and record things in your house just because they want to use things against you don't let anyone into your house know who to let in and it is always better if less people know where you live because that is your small heaven it is your privacy like when you go to work there is really no privacy because your seniors your workmates will have to see what you're doing when you go to the hospital the doctor has to see what you're doing but in your house it's your private place it is where your life is your secrets are so just mind the people who come there people who do not reciprocate your friendship don't let them into your space number nine you should always lock your door guys both for privacy and security so let me tell you a situation where you walk to a friend's house and being a good person as a guest you knock on the door the first time they don't answer you knock on the second time the second time they don't answer and you know they are at home but then when you're knocking the door is kind of pushed and it's not locked you will be tempted to push and ask and see if the friend is around and you might find an ugly picture so guys just to avoid those situations lock your door also sometimes these i have been stolen my laptop guys i have lost three laptops and i know stories of people who've lost laptops in their sitters because they did not lock their doors so also you give these a chance to steal from you if you do not steal and let me tell you your landlord will never refund you for a laptop or a phone that was stolen even a gas cooker they will never refund you because you have a responsibility as a tenant you have a responsibility as a host to also lock your doors also when your friend visit you so it's good to lock your door you never know maybe someone wants to run away with your tv but if you lock your door they will not run away they'll have to wait until morning when you all wake up and they can leave the door so i just feel like you never know so it's just good to lock your door very important guys number 10 you should love your space it is a bed sitter it is only four walls plus the uh, two extra walls that create a toilet but you should love your bed sitter like it is your heaven decorate it upgrade it do whatever you want to do to it don't be the type of person say, that says once i'm done with school i'll save money and move to a one bedroom where i'll start upgrading no start in that bed sitter if you get money buy curtains buy a carpet buy a bed buy everything like have your priorities right and decorate that space because it is where you live it tells a lot about you if you make money and if you and you do not invest in your space it is where you go when you're most tired it is where you sleep where your family visits you if you get a family you will raise it there just love your space and decorate it and god will also see your effort because like for me i started upgrading my bed sitter very slowly and when it was full people were like ah it's like you're comfortable living in a bed sitter you've decided to live here and i'm like no i am investing here because i want to live a good life where i can afford i do not have to wait until when i'm earning a hundred thousand so that i can move to a mansion even if it's a single room i will love it i will upgrade it and make it the beautiful space i want so just love your space and upgrade it and beautify it keep it clean number 11 the last point that i have today you should be kind and respect others be kind to your neighbors be kind to your caretaker be kind to your security and be yeah any just be kind to people it will cost you nothing to be kind to people because 
emergencies happen guys and if you are what do i call it you are a bitch no one will want to help you let's say you're starving things happen guys who will help you when you're always the type of person who is always mean to people when people say hi to you you do not want to say hi back you always roll your eyes you feel like you're better than everyone no just be kind to your neighbors don't be the type of person who who passes the security say hi to them these people are keeping you safe if someone wants to kill you the only way they will do it is passing through the security or your friends but security will know which of your friends visited so just be kind to your security your caretaker and your friends and your neighbors and life is better when you are kind yes so that is it guys those are my dead sister etiquette as a host to a friend and as a tenant to other people i hope you enjoyed that video if you have more to add to this kindly put it on the comment section give this video a big 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 thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and also tell me what else you want me to talk about also follow me on instagram at self designs and at self paulo bye bye guys i'll see you next time